Hello, today we're going to talk about squares and square roots. All right, so let's get the definition out there first of all. Um, to square a number means to multiply the base number by itself. So I have some examples on the screen. You can see I have 5 squared. So that really means to take this base number 5 and multiply it by itself two times. And that's what happens over here, 5 times 5. And the same thing here, the base number is 37, and we multiply it by itself according to the exponent. Um, we multiply 37 by itself two times, so 37 times 37. And likewise, the base number 102 multiplied by the exponent 2, or or 102 squared means 102 times 102. So in front of you, you have a table that looks like this. And I'd like you to pause the video here and take a moment to complete this table and start the video up when you have it completed. Thank you. All right, so once you filled out your table, it should look like this. It is important to have the correct numbers in this table because we are going to use this table as a reference sheet. So please take a moment to check over your answers, please. Okay, so we're going to use these a lot. Um, eventually, you'll get to the point where you may know some of these off the top of your head, but it is important that we have this available to us. And you might be asking yourself why we use that term square. So it really is related to a square. So I have three examples of squares here. And if you think about the formula of getting the area of a square, it's to take the side length and multiply it by itself. So 1 times 1, so the area of this is 1 unit squared. Right? And you just saw that, 1 squared equals 1. And likewise, the area of this middle square would be 2 times 2, which is 4 units squared. And you saw that on your table. And again, finally, the area of this one would be 4 squared or 16. And we could do this with many more examples, but I just wanted to show you a couple. Now, in math, there's many times when we talk about the opposite or the inverse operations of things. And that is the same thing that appears here with squares. So the opposite of a square or squaring a number is to take the square root of a number. And you can see the definitions on your on the board. Uh, square root is the inverse opposite of squaring a number. This is what it looks like. It has, this is the symbol. The x is going to be replaced with uh, numbers, but it has this, this symbol right here, and that means square root. And the definition is what integer times itself will equal x. So I have some examples on the board, and I have the square root of 4. And I think to myself, back to the definition, what integer times itself will equal x? And the answer is 2, because 2 times 2 equals 4. So we say that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Likewise, over here, the square root of 25 is equal to 5, because 5 times 5 equals 25. So the square root of 36, you can probably guess what that is, but the square root of 36 is going to be equal to 
6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. And the square root of 81 is going to be equal to 9 because 9 times 9 equals 81. Excellent. So that is how you square a number and, and take the square root of the number. So on the next table, you have what's called the perfect square table. I want you to pause the video here and fill in um, this table. All right, welcome back. It, now this table, again, will be a reference sheet and you might have noticed a pattern with the numbers. So if we just use this and we say the square root of 144, that is equal to 12, or the square root of 400 is equal to 20, or the square root of 441 is equal to 21. Again, this is going to become a reference sheet to, for you. All right, that's it for now. Go ahead and start your practice problems. Thank you very much.